Good morning, friends. This is Karma with Lewis Acre Farm. And I'm here with your thought for Thursday. I am going to do something a little different today. We're going to just kind of walk and talk. I normally just sit and chat with you, but I've really struggled with today's video. I've had a few things on my heart and I've debated what to talk to you about today. I really didn't know which direction to go. And I had a couple of ways I could go. I could read to you from the book, Moments of Peace for Couples. But I also had another topic burning in my heart to talk to you about. And we'll get to that. But I woke up this morning. I tried to do my video yesterday so that I'd have it ready to go for you early today. And I just couldn't do it. I could not, I could not find the words to do the video. And I woke up this morning and I realized why. I was, I was compromising. I was compromising getting in that I was trying to get a video out. I was just rushing. I wasn't stopping to think about the message. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about compromise. Today is Thursday, June 6th. 2024. It's supposed to be a beautiful day here in Caldwell. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. It's pretty overcast, but the temperature is comfortable. And that's always nice. I love that, that it's nice and warm and I can be outside to do these videos for you. I wanted to talk to you today about compromise because it's so easy to do. It's so easy to compromise. And yet it's so difficult to compromise. So what is compromise? What is compromising? And should we compromise? The answer to that question is multifaceted. <clears throat> compromise is give and take. But compromise also is giving up ground, giving up your beliefs, giving up your ground, giving up your stance on things. Um, one of the topics I wanted to talk about was boundaries. And compromise means giving up some of your boundaries. That can be a good thing, but it can be a bad thing. Compromise can save relationships. It can also break relationships. So <clears throat> in the grand scheme of things, compromise is a good thing when you talk about diplomacy, when you talk about finding common ground, when you talk about um, working things out, when you've been in a an argument, when you've been in a disagreement, or when you're trying to find solutions sometimes especially like in a marital relationship or dealing with your children uh, compromise is pretty important you want one thing your partner or your children or sometimes even your boss wants one thing and you want something totally different you've got to be willing to give up a little bit to get a little bit 
And here's the kicker, though. What are you willing to compromise on? Are you willing to compromise your beliefs? Here's where it gets a little tricky. As Christians, <clears throat> are we willing to give up our Sunday on Sunday mornings? I go to church. Am I willing to give up my Sunday morning church service just to appease? I'm going to have to get under the tree. It's raining. <laughs> it was not raining when I came out. Um, but I'm not going to give up being out here in this in the fresh air to do this video. You know, if I was still working, I would fight tooth and nail to keep my Sunday morning so that I could be in church and fellowship with other believers. Because that is something that is important to me. Maybe you attend church on Saturdays, so Saturdays are important to you. Are you willing to give up every spare moment to work and give up your time with your family just to make an extra buck so that maybe someday you can go on a family vacation? Or are you willing to give up the extra dollars so that you can have that family time now? something to think about what is what is most important to you and what are you willing to compromise on in the name of your beliefs sometimes we have to do a self-evaluation and think about what's important to us and what we're willing to give up there are things in my marriage that I absolutely will not compromise on but there are things in my marriage that I'm willing to say okay you know what that's a battle not worth fighting I'm willing to give on that and that's okay that's okay to give up on certain things but you have to know what's important to you before you can set those boundaries and before you can go into um, roundtable discussion, if you will. And it, it's the same when you become a parent. You have to know what parenting style is important to you. And chances are your partner is going to have a different idea. And as parents, you have to come together and decide what's going to work. You both can't have it your own way. And you have to compromise and decide what is most important to you. One of you is, well, both of you are going to have to give up certain things in your parenting style and decide what you're willing to give up and what you're willing to come together on. As a Christian, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the end of times, and we're going to be faced with some tough choices. What are we willing to compromise on? Are we going to compromise our faith to save our life? When we're asked to denounce our faith to save our life, will we do it? I've never been faced with that question. Can I honestly answer? <laughs> you know, I pray that I will never compromise my faith. Because I want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter in. Until I'm faced with that challenge, I don't know how I will answer. But I believe in my heart of hearts that I will never denounce my faith. I will never compromise who I am 
as a person, as a Christian. I was faced with a situation here this week where I very nearly compromised my beliefs in order not to break a promise. That's a tough one. So how would you handle that if you were faced with break a promise or compromise your faith? If you break a promise, you're compromising your faith anyway. Because a promise is a promise and you need to keep your word. So I prayed and I prayed and I prayed about this situation and I didn't act until I had a clear direction. And I talked to my husband and I talked to someone that I fully trust who is a Christian and I was given some good advice and I found my answer. I looked for a way that I could both maintain my faith and still fulfill my promise. I'm not doing the, th the exact thing that I promised to do, but I am fulfilling my promise. So I challenge you this week and beyond to look deep within yourself ask yourself what are my beliefs what am I willing to compromise on and what will I never compromise on am I compromising where I shouldn't be where do I need to strengthen my faith in or where do I need to strengthen my beliefs and stand up for my rights stand up for my beliefs in am I compromising Look for ways to get feet back on the right path. Get yourself headed back in the right direction so that you are <clears throat> not compromising who you are and what you believe in. Because your values, your value system is part of who you are. It creates who your what your character is. And your character defines the challenge for you this week. So go with God and be blessed. And I will see you here next Thursday for your thoughts for Thursday.